So I've been getting comments asking me to list my top 10 best Eminem songs and today I'll be doing just that but with a twist. Eminem has released 10 studio albums, 9 of those on their major label and today I'll be picking one song from the 10 studio albums released so far that will make up my top 10 best Eminem songs at the moment. The keyword here is at the moment as this changes over time because in my case a top 10 list of his best songs isn't set in stone. If it's also like that for you let us know in the comments section below. Furthermore, this list is based on my recent listening activity, so this video is also an indication of what I listen to the most from each of Eminem's 10 solo studio albums. So we start with Eminem's debut studio album Infinite, and the song Infinite is my number 10 at the moment, and to be honest, one of the reasons for this is because I use Spotify on my smartphone and so far, Eminem has only re-released Infinite from that album on major platforms, so by default, Infinite is my most played track from that album. At number 9, based on my recent listening activity, is Same Song and Dance from Eminem's Relapse album and Elevator, Music Box, On The Ground and Beautiful were pretty close based on my listening activity, but Same Song and Dance takes the top position from that album and overall it comes in at number 9 on my top 10 at the moment. Rock Bottom comes in at number 8 and this has certainly been my favorite song from the Slim Shady LP over the years and I believe since then it's also one of my most played Eminem songs. In fact, there was a time I had a playlist to help me drown out the noises outside before going to bed and Rock Bottom was first on the list. I think it was around 2008 to 2009 and if music streaming was a thing since Rock Bottom released in 1999, I'd be responsible for around 10 to 15,000 streams. At number 7 is Stan from the Marshall Mathers LP and I usually play it just before I play Bad Guy from MMLP2. I also watch the music video regularly as it's one of those songs that seems like a movie compressed into minutes with the ability to suck in a listener to pay attention to the visuals. You're hanging out with a few friends and the music video of Stan comes on, in no time the room gets silent as everyone is focused on the music video. Framed comes in at number 6 and other songs like Tragic Endings, River, Castle and the Rose come close but Frame takes it as my most played song from Revival at the moment. Driving around listening to Framed has become a routine for me and if you don't want to listen to Framed, don't give me control of the music in your car, it's that simple. Spend Some Time is number 5 and recently I've been listening to this song multiple times daily. Someone recently asked me for a suitable wedding song and I recommended Spend Some Time and you should see the look on their face as soon as they played the song as Obi tries open the first verse, priceless. Venom from Kamikaze comes in at number 4 and remains my most played song from Kamikaze at the moment. I don't think it's the best song on the album but I play it more than any other song for various reasons including playing it when I work out. I remember seeing some reviews talking about how Eminem should have dropped Venom from the album and the fact that it's my most played song from the album so far is one of the many reasons why you shouldn't let critics think for you. Next up is Spacebound at number 3 and if you've been following this channel for a while now you should have seen this coming as recently this has been my most played song from Recovery and some of you guys have even seen me in the comment section of the video on YouTube. I even consider it to be one of the best love songs ever because of the truth behind the lyrics. For example, you want them when they don't want you, soon as they do, feelings change. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. At number 2 is Legacy from MMLP2, which is a god tier motivational song for me personally. When I see how far I've come in life after hitting rock bottom multiple times even when I believe there was no way out. And when I listen to Legacy, in my head I follow Eminem on his journey from irrelevance and self-doubt to success and triumph. At number 1 is Sing For The Moment and the lyrics are still applicable to why Eminem is still releasing music today. He is not releasing music for critics, he is releasing music that fans can relate to for kids with nothing who would have ended it if not for the words in his songs. 
This song released in 2002, but even if it's released today, it will remain applicable since the narrative of critics haven't changed much since then. To critics, it may just be empty words and terrible songs filled with cuss words, but to the fans, these words spell the difference between life and death, between a positive vibe and wishing they'd die. So this is the final look of my top 10 taken from each album ranked based on my recent activity. Leave your thoughts below, subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next one.